This is The Herd. Wherever you may be, however you may be listening, live in Los Angeles, iHeartRadio, Fox Sports Radio, FS1. Christine Leahy is joining me for Hour 2. Ray Lewis, Hall of Famer in 30 minutes. And in about one minute, Colin Wright, Colin Wrong, a ton of it this weekend. Um, <clears throat> so, we had a tremendous first hour, and we are loaded for this second hour. And uh, last hour, I want you to stick around because I have uh, introducing you to a new guy that's going to be on the show that I just think is terrific, former NBA or college star. He'll be joining us on the show. So we are just starting out, only a third of the way done. And let's not waste any time, Christine. Let's go where Colin was right. Where Colin was wrong, there's a bunch of both. All right. On a Monday, here we go. Where Colin was right? Well, another first-time winner at a major in golf. The last ten major winners in golf are nine first-timers. All the golf know-it-alls, all the golf purists have been lecturing me on this guy's the next Tiger and that guy's the next Tiger. The last four Masters winners, all first-time winners. Let me guess. Patrick Reed is the next guy. He ain't going to win it next year. And Jordan Spieth, wait, Rory McIlroy, Justin Rose, Ben Crane. No, they're just all really, 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 really talented dudes. There will never be another Tiger. He's been gone for a decade now. And the only guy that moves the needle, by the way, once Tiger wasn't in the hunt, the numbers were up 100% on Thursday and Friday. And then like 14% on Sunday. Because Tiger wasn't in it. There will never, ever, ever be another Tiger. What there will be is a bunch of Patrick Reeds who are unbelievably gifted, but not all-time Jack Nicholas Golden Bear transformative. Where Colin was wrong. Greg Popovich is a good coach, and I'm not denying that. But my argument's always been, why was he really great in the 12 to 13 years of Tim Duncan's prime? We didn't think he was a legend before it. And what about after it? Not winning as much. This is his greatest coaching job. Okay, Kawhi Leonard's missing in action. Tony Parker's old and not having a good year. Manu Ginobili's 40. And San Antonio right now is ahead of Oklahoma City in the playoff chart. Their second leading scorer is Rudy Gay at 11 a game. They're basically winning. Tony Parker's having a bad year. Manu's old. Kawhi's not there. It's Rudy Gay and LaMarcus Aldridge carrying this team above Westbrook, Stephen Adams, Paul George, and Mello. This is Greg Popovich, as I was wrong. This is his best coaching job ever. Where Colin was right. Odell Beckham Jr. always said he's icing, not cake. He was on the market for all 32 teams. And last week, as I reported, the L.A. Rams, willing to take risks, vetted him and said no thanks. The L.A. Rams have an offensive coach, lost Sammy Watkins. They could have gotten him. They could. Have, they have it. They're not paying their quarterback anything and Todd Gurley anything yet. Rams vetted him. No thanks. Once again, expensive, fragile, needy. I like him as a talent, but I never believed you build your franchise around him. And when he was open on the market, everybody passed. Where Colin was wrong. I've been telling you for three years, watch out, here come the Minnesota Timberwolves. Hide the children, they're going to sweep and dominate the West. Well, here we are. They're struggling to get into the playoffs with a, with a great young player, Carl Anthony Towns, with a dynamic wing player, Andrew Wiggins, with supposedly a great coach, Tibbs. Okay, I've been waiting three years for this thing. They're playing a play-in game, potentially, in their last game to get in. I'm sorry, but as much as I love Carl Anthony Towns, this team has never popped. I've been promising you for three years, you don't want to face them. They're going to start dominating for a decade. And Philadelphia gets Ben Simmons, and an hour later, they're a three seed. I was wrong, and I don't know what the problem is. Andrew Wiggins, I think, has slightly eroded. And I'm not sure this coach fits this roster. Where Colin was right. Kyrie Irving announced last week out for the season. Listen, Kyrie's a great talent. But when he sort of uh, created a divorce with LeBron, all I heard was, hey, LeBron, he's going cross town. It's going to be a nightmare. 
Well, okay, six months later, LeBron's amazing, Cleveland's red hot, and Kyrie in the next six weeks. And these are the six weeks that people really watch the NBA. From like right now, six to eight weeks, the NBA's on fire. And he'll be watching it like you and me on television. Kyrie Irving, seven years in this league, has been hurt all seven of them. And oh, by the way, the one year he played college, which is far less physical, Duke, he missed 30 games that year, too. Always said, when you leave superstars, be careful. Look at all those receivers that left Brady. Those guys that left Magic. Be very, very careful. There's a handful of all-time great talent to make your life easier. And Kyrie's profile in the last six months? Shrinking. Where Colin was wrong. I had the Yankees going 162-0. and Yeah, I'm going to peel that back a little. Uh, first of all, their bullpen. I talked to Aaron Boone before the season. He's like, here's the one thing I know. We have a good bullpen. It's not been great. Maybe it's because bullpens are mercurial, hard to predict. Relievers are like kickers in football. They're kind of quirky. Here's what I know. John Carlos Stanton already has 20 strikeouts. Yesterday, 0 for 7 with 5 strikeouts. It's the second time this year he's gone over. He's had five strikeouts in a game. That's like a bad week for Derek Jeter. He's had two games where he struck out five times. And he is being booed as he should be. Listen, New York is tough. It is tough. It eats people alive. And it's really tough the first year. Once Yankee fans buy into you, you win a couple games, you're clutch. They'll grab onto you and hold you for life. Right now, John Carlos Stanton is struggling. Where Colin was right? Last year, NBA Finals, everybody lectured me. Kevin Durant's the new king. Forget LeBron. Kevin Durant's the best player in the game. And I'm like, what? Because Golden State won the Finals? By the way, in Kevin Durant's five highest scoring games this year, the Warriors are 0 for 5. Next LeBron. Next LeBron? Golden State, since Steph left, is a mess. They're 7 and 9, one win over a playoff team. Is Kevin Durant an all time unique talent? Of course he is. He's remarkable. LeBron's not just a great talent, he changed the league. Durant struggling with Draymond, with Kerr the coach, with a system, with Clay, against anybody who's going to make the playoffs. He's never, ever, ever, ever going to replace LeBron in this generation. Where Colin was wrong. I'll say it again, and I'm actually very happy the Sixers are relevant. I didn't think they'd win 40. They win 50. They're new blood for the East, and it's a great thing for the NBA. Listen, I like Ben Simmons, and I knew he'd be good. He's better than I thought, earlier than I thought. And what's really impressive, Joel Embiid got hurt six games ago, and this kid put the franchise on his back. This is the second, third week in a row. I have admitted I'm wrong on the Sixers. I have no problem admitting I'm wrong. I think Philadelphia is a remarkable, profound city for the NBA. And I think the Eastern Conference really needs some new juice. It's LeBron and the Celtics and the baby dinosaurs. We got a new sheriff in town, at least for a couple weeks until they get bounced. They're not going to win the East. But I was wrong on the Sixers. Better than I thought, faster than I thought. Where Colin was right. So Johnny Manziel last week went on a radio show and said, hey, it's Cleveland's fault. I mean, they should, they should have known I didn't study or love the game. And then yesterday he was in a spring game and he went like a nine for 15. It's basically glorified high school football, really bad college football. And he wasn't as good as the stats. And he looked like a guy that's never going to play in the NFL. I got nothing against Johnny Manziel. But I never bought into him. I didn't buy in Nick Saban saying he was going to dominate this league. He's small. And this seems mean, but I just don't think he's got the DNA to be an NFL quarterback. He lacks Russell Wilson's maturity. He lacks Big Ben's size. He lacks Matt Ryan's accuracy. But I think most of all, it's not just physical when it comes to playing quarterback. It's mental. It is a grown-up chair, and I don't think he has it in him. I don't think he'll ever be a guy that will flourish in professional football in America. I'd actually, and I'll give him credit here, 
I think he'd be okay in Canadian football. And to his credit, Tim Tebow would never embrace this. He has said, I think I'm going to go play Canadian football. For that, for that, he's showing maturity. Where Colin was right, where Colin was wrong, Ray Lewis coming up. Um, here's something that's real. Are the Dallas Cowboys playing a little game? I think they are with one of their stars. That's coming up. Tax season is here. Oh, that's right. It's April. Yes. We've got, we've got tax day this Not week. Not many more days left. Oh, that's right. Have you got your done? Actually, yes. A long time ago. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know. Well, you know what? I don't, I don't do them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Someone you're not going to H&R Block. you got to no, somebody that. All yeah, right. I got a guy. Well, you got about 15 jobs, so your taxes are. They're very complicated <laughs> in many states. <laughs> I would say they are. According to the IRS, uh, tax season's here, and identity thieves are filing fake taxes. You want to get a hold of this, okay? They're stealing Social Security numbers on the web. You want to get a hold of this. All right, here's the good news. Life lock identity, okay? They are now working with Norton Security. Nobody can stop every threat, every transaction, every thief. But the new life lock with Norton Security can uncover threats you might otherwise miss. All you have to do is go to lifelock.com, or you can just call 1-800-LIFELOCK. Lifelock.com or call 1-800-LIFELOCK. Please use the promo code HERD. Either way, phone or web, 10% off. Protect yourself. Tax season. Thieves out there stealing numbers, SSN numbers, Social Security numbers. Protect yourself. 1-800-LIFELOCK.